Hey there, eaglets. This is Mr. Morsher, and today we'll be reading Hey, Water by Antoinette Portis. This is an AR level 2.0. Let's get started. Hey, Water, I know you. You are all around. You spray up and down. You trickle and gurgle and rush toward the sea. You cover most of the earth, salty, surging, and mysterious. Sometimes you lie quiet and calm so we can splash and play and yell in you. I stomp in you and scatter droplets everywhere. In the morning, you wink at me from blades of grass. Sometimes, you slide down my cheek without a sound. Sometimes, you roar and pour. Water, even when you try to fool me, I know you. You blast and huff. You whistle and puff. You hide in the air and drift. You drift in the air and hide the world. Sometimes you freeze hard as a rock. A rock that floats. Or a rock we can skate on. Sometimes you freeze soft as a feather and fancier than lace. But water, I know it's you. You're hiding in this funny guy, and you're hiding in me too. Water, you're a part of every living thing. When I'm thirsty, there you are. Hey, water, thank you. Water forms liquid. We know water as a liquid, flowing from a faucet to fill a glass, rushing by in rivers on their way to the sea, and providing a home for millions of creatures and plants. But water is not just amazing because it's necessary for life on earth. Water can take many forms beyond the liquid we drink every single day. Clouds and fog don't look like liquids, but they are made of tiny droplets of water, so tiny they can float in the air. When the drops clump together and get too heavy to float, they fall from clouds as rain. Solid. When water is cooled way down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius, it freezes into a solid. Solid water appears as tiny crystalline snowflakes, ice cubes clinking in your glass, or icebergs the size of city blocks floating in the seas of Antarctica. Water, in its solid state, can even fall from the sky, in the form of hail, as big as tennis balls and dent the roofs of cars. Gas. When water is heated, it turns into a gas called water vapor. In this form, water is invisible. Water vapor is in the air all around us, but we can't see it. We think of steam as vapor, but actually it's not. Steam is a mist made of tiny droplets of hot water suspended in the air. That's what we see shooting out of the spout of a kettle or hovering over a bowl of soup. Water turns into vapor at room temperature too, though this happens so slowly we can't see it. This is how rain puddles on the sidewalk gradually disappear. The sun's warmth evaporates the liquid into gas. The water cycle. Precipitation. Water falls to the ground as liquid or solid. Collection. Water runs downhill and collects in rivers and lakes as well as seeps down into the ground. Evaporation. The sun's heat turns liquid into vapors that rises up into the air. Condensation. Cold air causes water vapor to turn back into liquid droplets. This water cycle has repeated over and over again for millions of years.